Hello, and welcome to Game or Pass, the show where I give you a quick opinion, breakdown, and gameplay so you know what to expect if you decide to give this game a try. Let's jump into it. The Ascent is a sci-fi isometric RPG shooter. Um, where do I begin? At the start, I was absolutely enamored with its opening and setting, but it quickly let me down. After spending 10 hours with it, I couldn't do it anymore. It's a real shame too, because there is just so much untapped potential here. The gameplay is all right, but I'll get back to that in a second. The issue here is when you play an RPG of this type, or an RPG in general, you expect some lore, at least I do. But after 10 hours, I still have no idea what the names of these various species are, and I have no idea why so many speak English, while well, so many humans speak alienese. Now I'll admit, I didn't look too hard, but this information doesn't seem to be in the codex. And frankly, I shouldn't have to look to get such basic information. Sure, Mass Effect had a lot of deep lore in its codex, but it was there to complement the world. Whereas this game doesn't do much world building at all. The game opens up letting you know you live in this harsh space cyberpunk dystopia controlled by corporation, but that's about as deep as it gets. Let me give you an example. Let's look at the aliens. It feels like the aliens were inserted in situ, as if they made the game and last minute someone said, you know what this game really needs? Some aliens. As a result, the characters seem like humans that just have been reskinned. Somehow, this makes them more boring than they would otherwise be. Instead of characters with deep cultural backgrounds and characteristics yearning to be understood, we just get bleh. Okay, so what about the gameplay? I don't wanna rag on it too much because I get the feeling that it's just not my cup of tea. Long story short, the RPG system is basic. You upgrade your stats to get stronger and you upgrade your weapons to make them stronger as well. Mostly what you do is shoot things, use abilities, and leap cover to cover. Or I guess whatever your playstyle is. Don't expect magic wielders here though. I do have one major complaint. If the gameplay isn't great but everything else is on point, I tend to put it on easy, power through the story. This game isn't so easy on easy. But who cares? The world's not worth it anyways. Is there a redeemable quality to this game? Just one. The environmental design and graphics are top notch. If you have a PC that can do ray tracing, all the bells and whistles are stunning. One big caveat, the game has major performance issues here. At first, the game was stuttery, a stuttery mess. Halfway through the review, an update fixed the issue, but now ray tracing doesn't work. From my research, it appears to be mostly a Game Pass PC version issue. Well, if you haven't guessed already, I rate this game as a hard pass. On the banana scale, it's one rotten banana out of five. That's it from me for today. If you found this useful, please hit that like and subscribe button, and I'll see you next time. Peace.